Hello, and welcome to Family Tech's Quick Tips, where I answer your specific tech questions from smart home to parenting to everything in between. Let's see what today's question is. Today's quick tip is all about being able to put parental controls on a teen who is between the ages of 13 and 17. The question reads, what app can I use to manage a teen's phone? Google Family Link says I can't use it for anyone over 13 years old. Now, this is a common misconception because the rules do change when your child turns 13. The reason the rules change is a law called COPA, which is the Children's Online Privacy and Protection Act. What this law entails is that tech companies are not allowed to collect data or have data for anyone who is under the age of 13. So this is why they make the cutoff for creating most social media accounts and for creating accounts like Google accounts or Apple ID to the age of 13. So when you're setting up parental controls for a child and you're scrolling through to try and pick the age of your teenager and it's not letting you pick the age, it's very common to think that you aren't able to set up parental controls for that child because they are over 13. But what you can do is invite that child to the parental controls. So since this is the case, it causes a lot of parents to actually lie about their child's age. They think that if they make their child younger, they'll be able to have these parental controls on their kids' devices for a little bit longer. Now, lying about your child's age or their birthday is going to do them a huge disservice, especially when they get older and they're ready to manage their own account. It's going to cause a lot of problems and you're going to have to reach out to Google or Apple in order to get that date corrected. So it's best to have the correct date of birth for your child whenever you're creating any kind of account for them. So now, how do you put parental controls on somebody who is over the age of 13? Well, the process is just slightly different. You'll have to invite that account to the parental controls. So this means you need to create the account if they don't already have one outside of the parental control system. So if you're in family sharing for Apple or if you're in Google Family Link, you'll need to create them an ID outside of that platform. So for Apple, you can create them an Apple ID just on the web or on their phone or device or for Google Family Link, you can create their Google account on the web as well. So then you go back into the parental control system. So family sharing for Apple iOS or in Google Family Link for any Android devices. And then you will invite that account to the parental controls. Because they're over the age of 13, it does give them the ability to opt out of the parental controls. In this house, if you opt out of parental controls, you also opt out of having a device. So you will get notified that your child has left the family sharing or has left the Google Family Link protections. And so when you get that notification, then you can punish accordingly. But this is something that you should establish beforehand as if you remove these parental controls, you will remove yourself from having a device. So they are clear about the rules beforehand before they get their device. So that's the only restriction for over the age of 13. They can remove themselves. You will be notified. But everything else works exactly the same. You can manage the device the same that you can for somebody who is under the age of 13. You just need to take that extra step and invite them to the platform. So no, parental controls do not disappear when your child turns 13. And you are still able to set up parental controls for a child who is over the age of 13 through Google Family Link and through Apple Sharing. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time. If you have a specific tech question you want me to answer, feel free to reach out on social media. I'm at Family Tech on all platforms and will answer all of my DMs.